please contribute. It really helps my independent, honest journalism for you. Why do people hate wind farms so much? If I had a site like this on the local hillside, I would be happy to see it. It means that my hillside in the local area is generating clean electricity, much better than having a coal plant or a nuclear power plant up there. I think a lot of country people are being lied to by conservative media and fossil fuel interests that are paying for supporter groups of these to say bad things about wind farms and solar farms. In 2014, I was the winner of the UNSW engineering photo competition for my entry, a high resolution panoramic photo of the famous wind farms visible on the Copenhagen, Denmark skyline, as viewed from the top of the round tower while I visited the city on holiday. This wind farm has recently been given approval to modernize and upgrade with a further 25 year license extension, showing that given the right circumstances and regulatory approval, wind farms can last for 50 years with upgrades and improvements to continue generating clean electricity for their local neighborhoods, which is awesome. Let's have a closer look at this Tilt Renewables wind farm at, uh, wind, at uh, Blaney. A lot of people say, oh, electric cars are just powered by coal if you don't have solar at home. But thanks to wind farms like this, Tilt Renewables Blaney wind farm in rural New South Wales, more and more electricity percentage every year is being generated from completely clean renewable energy. Wind, solar, hydro, it's awesome. Many people think that within the next five to 10 years, we'll get past 80%, probably 100% renewables in the grid. Good to see here that Blaney Shire has been a green power council for a long time. And the Blaney wind farm is a fitting symbol on the landscape, supporting the statement of the community's care for the environment and the in reduction of greenhouse gases. Great to see many dozens of families enjoying the view near the wind farm, including one with a solar powered tent. Pretty cool. Actually, I can see quite a few solar panels. Look there, and there, and there. Heaps of people are using solar power to make their holidays greener. Here's some information about the Blaney wind farm, which you can see on the horizon there. This Blaney wind farm was commissioned in 2000, so it's already 25 years old. It has 15 Vestas V47 660 kilowatt wind turbines with uh, 45 meters high and a blade length of 23 meters. Nowadays, modern wind turbines are way bigger than this, but these are still trucking on, generating energy for the local area. Each turbine is regulated to ensure that the wind farm operates at maximum output for all situations. You can pause the video to read more details. The, cunningly, the blades of the turbines change depending on the wind speed, which is quite interesting. I didn't know that. And the turbines generate almost enough electricity to power 5,000 homes, which is pretty good. Just like the wind farm off the coast of Copenhagen, the Blaney wind farm has already lasted over five years past its estimated lifespan and it's still trucking along creating great green energy. It, as it's already past its estimated operational lifespan, this wind farm has already saved well over 500,000 tons of carbon emissions, which would otherwise have been produced if the same amount of electricity had been generated from dirty, horrible coal power. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and sharing my videos. It really helps me make more videos like this for you. And have a look at the suggested videos up above. I'm pretty sure you'll like those as well. Thanks, and see you later.